everybody, folks, and welcome back to another World Series of Poker Random Questions with Life's of Luff. I'm here with Mark Newhouse, man of fame online and off nowadays. Yeah, I guess so. Tell us what's been the uh, just the highlight of your last year or so in poker. Um, well, I uh, in the last few months I've been playing a lot of tournaments. Um, last year in poker, probably, uh, well, my biggest accomplishment would probably be going deep for 25K. Um, we're hoping to do something in the in the World Series this year. All right. Um, other than that, you know, just trying to play a lot and you know, try to do something. Cool. We're about an hour away from the Limit Hold'em 10K Championship. Yeah. How have you enjoyed the uh, World Series structures and, and uh, just the events so far this year? Um, I I like the structures in the big events. Uh, the small events is always you know don't give you a lot of room. But uh, this is event, this is an event I'm looking forward to. Uh, I'm started out as a limit holding player, and uh, you know, it's the, this one's most of the smaller limit events, like the, the 1500 limit, is almost not even worth playing because the 3000 chips. Just the fact that it's a limit holding event is, just makes it a almost a pure crapshoot. But this one should have a much better structure, and you should. Uh, I think you're going to see a lot of good limit players, good people. Good deal. Now, I promise this is the last actual poker question, All right. but what is the one thing somebody needs to do to develop from a limit player in the tube, just the tube taking lower limit limit games up to the higher side? What do you need to do? Um, well, in the lower limits, basically, to beat the lower limit games, what all it takes is discipline. You have to play tight and just play standard after the flop. and you'll beat the lower limit games. In the higher limit games, you don't have to play as tight. There are going to be a lot more heads-up pots that allow you to outplay your opponents, as opposed to in the smaller games where they're all multi-way pots and you just really can't make any moves. Um, the, the biggest thing about playing big games is just knowing your opponents. Um, you know, you, you're going to play with a lot of the same people over and over. You have to be able to adjust to them and just be able to maximize your edge against them. Um, and you're going to be playing a lot of heads up pots. You have to know how to outplay your opponents. Um, for instance, smaller games, that's really not necessary. And really, if you outthink yourself in the small games, you're just going give, to give money away because all, all you have to do in small games is just play tight. All right. Now here he goes. The key to random questions on life's a bluff are the fact that they're random questions. Just that. So as long as this outdoor noise doesn't absolutely drown us out, we're going to have a good time with just some really interesting random questions. Sounds good. The first one is, what is the strangest thing you've ever done on an airplane? The strangest thing I've ever done on an airplane? Um, I have taken hallucinogenic substances. That was that was fun. There we go. Like that, that would be the right answer now. All right. Yeah. Who do you go to when you just want to have an easy conversation? Don't want to hear anything about folks. Um, I I got a couple friends, you know, who I talk to a lot. Um, I I got a couple friends from back home, you know, that I I'll just give them a call and talk. To. They don't play poker. They don't know anything. But um, generally, uh, most of my friends these days are, are poker players. So. All right. yeah. Who's your best friend in the poker world? My best friend in the poker world. Um, there's uh, there's a couple. Um, probably. Either you're not gonna know who any of these people are, but maybe Brad Lipson, Hansu Chu, Devin Miller, a couple of uh, a couple of guys that I, I've known for a long time. Yeah. What's the best playoff in any sport ever? The best playoff in any sport ever? Yes. Um, well, being from uh, being from North Carolina, I always like to see the Carolina Duke game. Right. Um, so that's. Uh, I don't know if that's considered a playoff, but I think that's the best matchup that uh, I can see every year. Getting windy. Yeah. Meaning of life in eight words or less. 
Ah. Enjoy yourself. What's your mother's best dish? My mother's best dish is uh, she makes pretty good uh, spaghetti and meat sauce. One of my favorite questions, have you ever set yourself on fire? Um, Intentionally or unintentionally? I, I don't believe so. I think I've like accidentally like set some hair, like a little piece of hair on fire or something, but I probably most uh, done there. All right. Yeah. What TV show are you most embarrassed about having to watch? Um, I, uh... I don't think I'm embarrassed about watching any TV shows. I don't, I don't really watch any TV shows that uh, I would find embarrassing anyway. So That's I okay. Not, not really uh, answer that. I, I've ne never watched like American Idol or, or any of that stuff. Um, I was planning on watching Survivor when Bobby was on it, but uh, I uh, didn't um, even remember to do that. So. If you could be on one reality TV show, which would it be? Ah, uh, let's let's say uh, I don't know. Do game shows count? Let's say yep. Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? All right. Yeah. Have you ever been to a psychic? No, I've not. Do yeah. you have a lucky charm? I don't. No. All right. Freedance or Skinner? Um, I'm a big fan of both. Um, but, uh, I probably, I used to like uh, Skinner a lot more, but I think these days I'm going to go with Freedance. All right. The Almond Brothers or Steely Dan? Almond Brothers. Uh, <laughs> as you can see, I, I got the Almond Brothers shirt on. That, that's not close. All right. Yeah. Your least favorite smell? Ah. Oh, We'll go with an easy one here and just uh, like human species. There we go. Yeah. How many miles do you have on your car and how long is it to your next oil change? Um, the car I'm driving right now I think has like 105,000 something miles and uh, I think I'm was supposed to get an oil change like 200 miles. There you go. Yeah. Favorite Burt Reynolds movie? Um, I don't even know that many Burt Reynolds movies. So, yeah, I don't know. Okay. What's the most embarrassing social faux pas you've ever committed? Um, I do a lot of stupid stuff when I'm blackout drunk. So I don't, uh, don't remember a lot of it, but... Um, I don't know. I can't think of much. The most recent thing is I got kicked out of the commerce room and we're just like starting drama with a bunch of people being drunk. So. There you go. Yeah. So was that the last time you were blackout drunk? No, but that was the last time like I did something stupid in public blackout drunk. Fair enough. Yeah. What is your opinion of spandex? Um, not not a fan. I don't I don't use it much. Uh, I've, I actually don't think I've ever worn spandex. How about spandex on women of varying weights? Uh, depends on your definition of varying. But uh, on on the uh, the, the larger weight women, I not not a fan at all. <laughs> all right. If you could put one person into any sports hall of fame, who would it be? Um, I don't know, let's say uh, Michael Jordan. Alright. Yeah. Motorcycle or four-wheeler? Four-wheeler. Alright. How many times have you been to Disney World and what's your favorite uh, ride? Um, Disney World or Land? I, uh, I've been a few times. I actually went to Disneyland one time like a year ago. Not fairly recently. Um, favorite ride? Uh, see if I can even remember. Let's say uh, like Splash Mountain. Lord of the Rings or Star Wars? 
Uh, I'm. I guess uh, I'm gonna go with the old school Star Wars because I. Uh, I've actually only seen the first Lord of the Rings. I haven't seen the second two. So I, I've, I've heard they're really good. I mean, I've got to take the time to actually watch them. So they needed. Yeah. What character from Star Wars, if you could be one, would you be? Ah. Uh, let's go with Han Solo. What's your most embarrassing guilty pleasure? Embarrassing guilty pleasure. Um. Spending too much money at the Rhino. I don't know. How do you like your strippers? Um, how, how do I like them? Like, how do you like them looks wise? If you walk in, wow, that's the one I'm gonna dump three bills well, on. I uh, generally I'll, I'll go in there and uh, you know I if if I'm at a place like the Rhino, you know there's generally a good selection. Um, so I don't really have a preference like blonde brunette. You know, I I just look around and you know if they start coming up to me and start talking to me and I'm not interested, I'm just gonna be like you know no, I just got here, want to have some drinks first and uh, you know just sort of blow them off because I'm not about to spend money on dances. And someone's not the best one in the club. Uh, Fair enough. Yeah, uh, I've been dragged to other clubs in Las Vegas too that. Being uh, an experienced veteran at the Rhino, it's, it's, you're not going to find much else in Vegas. So it boils down to T or A? Um, probably T. That works. That works. Although, uh, I, I, like, I like real ones, though. So, you know, they don't necessarily have to be big, but, you know, it's just nicely shaped. It's got to be real. Yeah. Uh, although, A, a is, is also good. Enough. What's under your bed? What's what? What's under your bed? What's under my bed? The house I'm staying in right now, uh, I actually just have a mattress on the floor, so uh, nothing. Are you in Vegas for the series? Uh, yeah, I don't know what I'm doing after the series. I'm, I may stay here, I may go to LA, uh, but yeah, I'm here for right now. Alright. The last part of this that we always do is called the Heads Up Lightning Round. Basically, right. it's you versus one of the two people that I'm going to say in a heads-up death match for your entire bankroll. Okay. What game would you play any random person in? Which one would you pick? Ah, uh, well, I'd go with Limit Hold'em. That's my best game. Limit Hold'em. Yeah. All right. Limit Hold'em death match for your entire bankroll against the Incredible Hulk or Iron Man. Um, I, I'm going to go with the Incredible Hulk because uh, he probably has some, some health issues. Likely. Indiana Jones or Han Solo? Uh... Let's go with, I think Han Solo, because uh, Indiana Jones, I think, is a little more level-headed, and Han Solo probably has, like, some ego and stuff going on, and that may, I think Indiana Jones could probably play a day game more. All right. Yeah. Mike Tyson or OJ? Uh, Mike Tyson, for sure. Um, OJ, I think OJ definitely seems like the smarter of them. So, yeah. There you go. Obama or McCain? Uh, I I think I'd rather play against McCain. Um, just uh, probably because uh, he, he's like old war veteran may may be the type who uh, who like hasn't evolved his game over the years and. You know, uh, hasn't evolved to to make adjustments to the, to the new players. All right. Bill Murray or Dan Aykroyd? Uh, let's go with uh, Bill Murray. I think I think he's uh, he's going to be a little bit less, you know. Uh, Organized in his thoughts, I guess. Yeah. Phil Ivey or Doyle Brunson? Uh, probably in Limit Hold'em, probably uh, Doyle Brunson is. I mean, they're both very good players, uh, but uh, I think Doyle has more of a no limit background. Anyway. Fair enough. Yeah. Mickey Mouse or Ronald McDonald? 
Uh, I think you have Ronald McDonald. You know, while, while Mickey Mouse may may give off the, the sucker impression, you know, I think I think he uh, seems to know what he's done. Might have some deep. There you go. Larry Bird or Magic Johnson? Um, probably uh, Magic Johnson, because you know he likes to uh, he likes to party a lot, so you know he he might not be bringing his A game every day. Kobe or MJ? Um, Kobe, because Kobe uh, Kobe's still young and you know has his, uh, ego issues. And, I think uh, Michael probably uh, is a little more level-headed. Your mother or your grandmother? Uh, I'm gonna go with my mother. Cause uh, my grandmother, she uh, she plays bridge fairly often, so she might have a little bit better card sense. True enough. Yeah. Mark Newhouse, you have survived the lightning round, All right. and you have survived random persons with life's of luck. Best of luck in the 10K Limit. Thanks a lot. We'll be rooting for you. Absolutely. Cheers. Thank you.